Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Jessico's tutorial on disabling a button uh, when you open a new window. Uh, that's pretty much the gist of this lesson today. I went ahead and already created a WPF application. Uh, nothing's added to it at this current time. So, uh, let's go ahead and get things started, shall we? So we're going to go ahead and create a new window. Uh, let's call this sub window one. Alright, in here, we're basically just going to throw in... Where's my toolbox? Oh, well, I'll do it in XAML. Uh, we're going to add a text box. And we're going to put, this is a new window, and button is disabled. Height, we'll do 20, and width is 50. And we'll go ahead and actually close it. the proper way. Alright, there we go. And you know what? Just because uh, we'll go ahead and make the font size 20 and we'll add word wrap. Alright, there we go. This is a new window and button is disabled. We are done in the sub window. Alright, so in the main window. Doop, 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 doop. I actually want my toolbox. Makes things easier and quicker for me. Alright, there we go. I'm going to name this load button All right. and we'll also add our click event that is something we need isn't it alright there we go everything's added so now we're gonna go into our main window xaml.cs uh, our sub window equals window dot get window new sub window one alright sub window dot show load button dot is enabled equals true and then we'll do sub window dot closing event plus equals generate that method for us oops that should be false right. and in here load button dot is enabled equals true <clears throat> and let's go ahead and run the program should do exactly as we want it to so we have our button it is disabled this is a new window and button is disabled close it button is re-enabled all right perfect now what if we want to simplify the code and make it so that we don't have this closing event so let's go ahead and delete this and we are going to change this to s ex it can be anything you want with that and then Load button dot is enabled equals true. Basically, we've just converted that delegate or event to a lambda expression. So we'll go ahead and run this. Load button is disabled. All right. Uh, so if you had 
any questions on this uh, tutorial, please leave a comment in the message box below. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Uh, and as always, have a great day.